what is going on everybody welcome back to another video so today i have an update collection video for you guys on my raider snapback collection but before i get into the video i just want to say i hope you guys are doing very well out there staying safe indoors throughout this unfortunate situation with the coronavirus you know and all that crap but it's a tough time we're all gonna get through it god's got our backs he's gonna fix this i know he is but for right now, stay safe, stay sanitized, be careful out there, stay home. If you're not going to work, if you're not going to the grocery store, stay home. We're going to get through this. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So um, about a year ago, I made a collection video on my Raider collection. But ever since then, I've sold some. And then I've also added a few more into the collection. So, you know, it's majority of about 80 percent of it's the same but like i said i sold some hats since then and i've also added some new ones so i'm here to do a little update show you what i have so without further ado let's get it started shall we so the first hat i'm gonna show off it's not a snapback but it is the visor that i found at a thrift by sports specialties that old school sports specialty tag right there I'm not a visor guy, but since I found this at the thrift store for like $1.50, why not? Next up, every Raider fan got to have the Conference Champions, Stradback, Super Bowl, 2002. Some Beat Heat, Vintage Nike Suede, Snapback. Found this at the thrift too, for like two bucks. I like to wear this when I work out. But obviously I haven't worn it since, you know, what's going on. Um, next up, I got this custom city list corduroy script. It used to say Los Angeles, but I took it off because I was bored. Um, it's not, how do I say, it's not adjustable. It's the sting ripped off, so it's sewn on. I don't know, I didn't do that personally, but someone else did. I don't know, but it's something to mess around with, like a little... Like a little uh, decorative thing, I guess. Got the Super Bowl. Snap. A lot of my hats, I know a lot of people like to have dead stock, uh, really good condition hats. But I'm the type of person where if I find something that I could either restore, clean up, or if it's a good deal, I'm going to grab it. Um, I wear a majority of my hats. I don't just spend a lot of money and then just it just sits here collects dust. I wear my stuff. I just thought I'd let people know that. But um, I also have this, another custom thing. This is an old school youngin hat, but I was told that back in the day, a lot of teams were made with these metal plates, but I don't know, something cool, I guess, to have. Got this by Logo Athletic, low key rare piece. Got the black spike dead stock. I used to have three of these. Then I sold, ended up selling two of them because I needed the money, but I ended up keeping this one. I had to have at least one. Got the sports specialties plane logo draft cap dead stock. I paid that price for it. I think it says. Oh, $14.99? Yeah, I paid that much for it. <laughs> Pretty dope. One of the people, one of the hats that a lot of people want. Got a denim strap back. Dead stock. This is by New Era. Got the Heather script. Shout out to the people who like the shark tooths. This is a first gen shark tooth. And how do I know it's a first gen? Just look at the logo and you can see how it pops out more. NFL logo on the back. And I also have the regular shark tooth. And as you can see, this one doesn't have, it's not really like popping out as much. And this one has the pro line on the back and not the NFL thing, so. And this one's more all wool. And it's a little yellow right here. I gotta, I'm, I've been trying to get that out, but I just haven't had the time. 
Next up, I got the Ark. All wool. I actually have three of these too. And here's another one. This one's my most clean one. And uh, here is my most beat one. And then already you could tell this side is all discolored. And um, right here it's ripping. And on the top of the button, you can see there's some few moth holes. I wanted to do a project with this hat, but I just haven't had the time. But yeah, I got three arcs, all wool. Oh, and actually, I also have this. This is not by starter, though. This is something else. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's all wool. And the fit is really small, but something cool to have. So, I have that. I have this. I think this is the eSport starter joint. Yeah. eSport by starter. One of my favorite hats, it's Twill. Dead stock. Got the Apex One big logo. Dead stock. Another Apex One joint. It's like a blockhead. And this is pretty cool, it's like windbreaker material. Something different. Got the corduroy trucker hat. I'm not a fan of truckers, but I ended up getting this in a pack. So, I don't know. Something that I just kept. Vintage New Era. This is the property of LA Raiders joint. Vintage New Era. Another vintage starter. This is one of my go-to hats that I wear all the time. All wool. Pretty dope. Splash. Dead stock. The all leather script. The very rare Oakland Raiders script from 1996, 97, I believe. Dead stock. The all black twill single line. This is with the black underbrim. Dead stock. I also got the American Needle Triangle Snap. All wool. Logo on the back. American Needle. This is the City List version. I want the I want to get the LA and Oakland versions, but I know those come in twill. But I would like to have a wool version, but you know, Raider hats are Raider hats to me. Single line beat heat. This is my workout hat. And as you can see, you can tell that I wear this a lot. This is one of my older hats, like my very, very first old hat. This I got this in high school. Really beat. I like to hoop in this hat. Double line black grim, black and gray script. One of my best fitting hats. Fits my head. Big, really good. And this is my cleaner single line. Now this is the one that I wear a lot when I want to go out in style. <laughs> Dope. The white and black script, the twill version. This is really dope because i found this at a flea market for five dollars along with a bunch of other junk hats but i was so stoked to find this. this is one of my very first hats i started collect when i started collecting that i ever found in the wild double lines will another one of my favorite hats that i like to wear especially during the summertime now this one right here, this is one of my, this is my favorite, favorite thrift find ever. And that is the single line coach cap. Wouldn't believe it, I found this in the wild at a Goodwill, just sitting there waiting for me. 
they must have just put it out because man this thing was literally just sitting like this somebody could have easily grab that but luckily i found it next up i got the plain logo sports specialties dead stock and this one was actually a fitted one but the homie had it turned into a snapback so that's pretty dope really dope piece right there vintage nike all suede pro line on the back the will to win nike white tag pretty dope another sports specialties joint pretty cool this is the only blockhead that i currently own right now it is the olive earth tone i believe it's called this one is with the helmet on the side and this one has signatures on it i think too i don't know if you can see on the camera i don't know but this one has signatures on it american needle i wear this one a lot too i also have another one more beat heat this one's with the shield on the side it's pretty beat but these are really rare though these earth tone i think that's what they're called these olive colored blockhead these are really really rare you hardly see these for any team at all the Bo jackson snap the pro line on the back jackson 34 this is by ajd gray underbrim vintage starter again I need to fix this hat. This is pretty beat too. I got this for like 10 bucks, I think. The double line script. The most common hat that I really wear a lot. I've had this for quite a while. I think I have it for like five years now. Double line corduroy script. And here's an example of why I like to pick up beat snaps. Because I like to clean them up. I haven't cleaned this one up though. But... This is something that I'm going to show you that I want to clean up. And as you can see, this one is pretty beat. It has like paint stains or I don't know what the hell that is, ink. But I'm looking to see if I can get that off. I have a lot of cord. Well, I used to have a lot of corduroy snaps. I think I kind of still do though. But um, I love corduroy. But yeah, I want to see if I can do something with that. Oh, and here's my... This is the one I wear. Clean inside. The other one I got for like 20 bucks, I think. I also got it in a pack along with some other hats. Here's a single line version. I love corduroy scripts. I think I just love corduroy, period. One of my favorite materials. I got the pinstripe dead stock. I used to have three of these, now I only have two. I sold one, but it was beat. And this is my other one. I haven't worn this one yet. Cause I, I, again, I had another one that I really wore a lot and it was kind of beat, but I ended up selling it. And I have this plain logo by Anko. This is the all wool version. Now the thing with this one is that this particular hat there's only, I've only seen a lot of twill versions. I haven't seen a wool version until I came across this one. I found it at a flea market, paid about 25 bucks for it, not bad. And I also have this one, another one of my favorite hats. Apex one, Apex, Apex one, 1960s old school logo. Pro line on the back, tag inside. Really, really love this hat, this is dope. This is another rare piece for me. Vintage Youngin. I don't know exactly what this is called, but it's still a cool piece. Another one of my hats I like to wear a lot. The Super Bowl strap. Pretty dope. The Twill Double Line Script. 
I know a lot of people don't like twills, but I personally mess with them because they're really comfortable, especially during the summertime because wool makes my hot, my head hot. Vintage starter. This is also the twill version. And I've seen a wool version of this, but I haven't really made an attempt to get it. And this right here, this is one of my favorite gems. This is the rare, rare single line young and script i've only seen a few other people have this hat i know how very rare it is i've gotten like 500 offer for this believe it or not but i still kept it because this is one of my favorite snaps in my collection and the last five snaps i have these are my favorites right here starting off with this one shark tooth very very rare I always get people hitting me up and wanting to get this hat, but I'll never let this hat go. This is my favorite right here. I love this shark too. Sports specialty circle snap. I've been hunting for this for so long and I finally got my hands on one. Very clean too. I love this hat. This is gonna be one of my go-to hats that I'm gonna wear a lot. And this one is pretty dope. It's a script with a different font. But this isn't by like starter or sports specialties. I think it's by Ampro. I'm not sure. But this snap, the, the fit is so dope. Like it is really, really cool. And you know, it's something different too. Cause I'm the type of guy where I like to get different things. I like to be different, but I love that hat. And it's old, it's so old school too. You could just, just feel it, just see it. Like you could tell this is old school, late eighties, early nineties. And also this, another very rare snap, the vintage Nike Splash. I've had a lot of people hit me up about this. Dead stock with the tag. This is so cool. This hat is freaking cool. I've seen a Dodgers version of this too, but had to give me a Raider one. I also want to get the Dodgers one too. And my last snap, one of my favorite, favorite snaps in my collection probably well not my rares but obviously one of the rares is the oakland raiders script by sports specialties this shit is dope never letting this bad boy go i traded a sports specialties plane logo to get this one so yeah guys that's my collection right now that's my update that's what i've been having for the past year or so um hope you guys enjoyed it again i hope you guys are doing being good i hope you guys are doing well out there stay safe stay inside um you know shout out to all the collectors out there thank you guys so much see you next time